Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. The governor of Anambra State has stepped up and he has made up his mind to ensure that peace returns back to Anambra State. And uh, he wants to see how everything about sit at home comes to an end, especially considering the fact that IPOB had cancelled it. We're going to hear a little what he has to tell the people of Anambra State and the step he has decided to take. Now, but before we do all of that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get the notification anytime we publish our videos. The Anambra State Governor Willie Obiano on Saturday warned against obeying the Monday sit at a home order declared by indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. Obiano ordered banks, traders, and tra transporters to commence complete and uninterrupted economic activities from Monday. The governor said his decision followed discussion with security agents and relevant stakeholders in the state. His directive was contained in a statement by the State Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Don Adinuba. The statement read partly, All markets as well as motor parks and commercial vehicles are henceforth to operate fully every Monday and any other weekdays except any day declared work free by the appropriate authorities. Before Governor Obia, Willie Obiano led a meeting yesterday between heads of security agencies and bank executives in the state, including those from the Aqua branch of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He had personally held frank and rewarding discussion with a large spectrum of leaders of the Transport Union and Market Association in a number of states on why they had for past few weeks been shoot, shutting down their businesses every Monday. It was idiomatic that the good people of a number of states and indeed the Southeast have for the past five weeks been grappling with a vicious cycle of a grand scale. Some people have missed terminal examination with all the grave implications for the competitiveness of the youngsters and for the future of our state. Since no responsible government can stand akimbo while the future of its people is destroyed grat gratuitously, Governor Obiano had useful discussion in the past couple of days with relevant groups with a view to freeing members to pursue their legitimate businesses. After all, the leadership of the organization on whose instruction some persons claim to enforce the stay-at-home order has since rescinded the order. The number of state government directive to banks, traders, transporter, other groups, and individuals to resume full economic activities throughout the week with effects from Monday, September 15, 2021, was informed by the yearning of these stakeholders. The governor assured people of the state of adequate security across the state on Monday. IPOM had issued a sit-at-home order every Monday to protest the rearrest of its leader, Nam Dikanu. However, the pro Biafra group reviewed the order, stressing that it would only be enforced whenever Kanu is to appear in court. Kanu is on currently locked up by the Department of State Services DSS following his abduction back from kenya mm, wow this is really interesting looking at uh, what obiano had to say now i would like to read some of the um comments of nigerians before we go into further discussion now this other person here says this issue has been overflogged i think it is right on track for the state government to employ the services of an agency, security agencies, who will stop all this nonsense from going on. After all, IPOB had come out very clear to tell Nigerians that there is nothing like sit at home again. So whatever that is happening is coming from hoodlums who wants to make use of this opportunity. Another person says this is an indication that the IPOB have so much influence over the people. But at the same time, we have to watch it so that at the end of the day, the lion we are training will not end up consuming us. Another person here says, 
you can imagine what is going on despite the fact that ipop have called off this seat at home but yet some miscreants hoodlums are behind enforcing what has been long cancer it clearly shows that there is a leadership problem somewhere and if it is not corrected speedily we may watch ourselves turn out to be like the northern part of nigeria another person here says ipop has changed this thing. Why are these people doing it? Is it because of what had happened to other people? I think the security agencies need to jump into work. Wow, well, another person here says, IPOP gave the instruction, and that is why people are standing by it. I feel that the current leadership is not strong enough, neither are they respected, and that is why this thing is still going on. This one here says, what is going on currently clearly shows the class of people that belongs to IPOP. They are not ready to oblige to anything that is sin. Everything that they love doing must revolve around violence. I think this is not actually true. Another person here says, this is a time that everyone in Southeast need to wake up before we create what we will, wouldn't be able to destroy. IPOP never said people should stay back at home they say at once and they cancel it the question is who are these people who are continuing with this sit at home and causing so much fear within our people now one said this thing has been cancelled it's just an issue of fear on the part of the people for me i normally go out on every monday and nobody harasses me this is just a product of fear Wow, so many things people are saying here. But I feel at this point that the government needs to step in and do something drastic, considering the fact that, uh, you know, IPOP themselves came out, the leadership of IPOP, because what we know is that there is something called leadership anyway. There is nobody that can, or a group that can run without leader, or that can, you know, pull through without leadership. The leadership came out and they said, we do not want all of this to continue. This is what we want. We are also taking into consideration the economic status of the state. As much as the leadership who gave this instruction have come out to cancel it, I feel that everybody should give in to it. Whoever that is doing this thing automatically is not part of IPOP. Because if they are part of IPOP, they would have obeyed what the leadership of IPOP is currently saying. You understand? And guess what? One of the things we have that is most notable here is the more we bring in trouble into the environment, the more these guys are allowed to do these things when they are not even instructed by IPOP, the more businesses will keep folding up on a daily basis, you know. Now, some few uh, days ago, that's last Monday, we saw what happened. Someone brought in a vehicle full of uh, trading um, products, and unfortunately, he was caught on the road, uh, beaten up, and then they burned the whole product down. Now, is that helping, you know, the people of Nebo? Of course not. And why did he take that decision he took? It was because there was an official declaration by IPOP that there is nothing like sit at home any longer. It didn't come from anybody. It came from the communication man, talking about him how powerful. I think Obiano, what he's trying to do now is to see how he can fetch out those people whom, um, you know, they, 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 they are not so sure that they are part of IPO, but they're just trying to get, take advantage of the opportunity given to do all of this. I'd like to leave it there.